Hey guys, and welcome back to Flatpak Effects, the place where I teach you all the tips and techniques for creating your very own video effects. Now in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to take your 2D portrait images and make them 3D using what's called a displacement map. Now I make weekly tips and tricks videos just like this one. So if you're new here, maybe consider subscribing so you don't miss out. All right, so with that, let's jump straight in. Now this effect ideally works with a portrait image. So you can either use one of yourself or you can just go online and download one so you can follow along for the tutorial. In this case, I'm using this portrait image that I found of this girl and I'm gonna show you how this effect works and then you can apply this to any images that you may have yourself. So over on the computer, I've got my portrait image here and what I've done is imported this into Photoshop. Next, what we actually wanna do is we wanna actually come down here and create a new layer. I'm also gonna make sure this is set to black here and I wanna use the paint bucket tool. So I can access this by holding down my clicker and just selecting the paint bucket. And what I'm gonna do is just make this a black layer. So I'm just gonna click and that's gonna create a black layer. Then I'm gonna come down here and I just wanna make this 50% opacity so something like this then I'm going to come back to my brush tool which is over here on the left which is B on the keyboard and I'm going to make sure that I've got white selected so that's really important because we're going to be using this to paint over this black image the other thing I want to make sure before we get started is that up here my opacity is set to 20% on my brush tool and I'm also going to be adjusting the brush as I go and you can do this by right clicking and then I can adjust the actual size and I can adjust the hardness and everything like that. So I'm just gonna make this really soft to start with and then I'm gonna set my size to around 150 and that's fine. Okay, so the first thing we have to understand is what a displacement map is and how it actually works. So a displacement map actually works by using black and white. And we use the black and white color to represent distance in our image. Now, anything that's close to the camera is gonna be white and anything that's further away from the camera is going to be black. So that's essentially what we're gonna be doing inside of Photoshop. We're gonna be creating a map, which basically tells After Effects, this is far away and this is close to the camera. So now that we've got our black solid and we've dropped the opacity to 50%, I'm actually ready to start creating an outline for my portrait. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first draw an outline here. So I'm just gonna click somewhere up here and then just start to basically draw a line that goes around the outside of my portrait here. So I'm basically just filling in what's in the image here. Now it's really important that you hold down the mouse clicker here that you don't do this by keep clicking and then dragging and then clicking and dragging. Just do this all in one movement to something like that. Now just to make this a little bit more prominent, I'm actually just gonna drive this up slightly, maybe to around 70% so I can see what I'm doing. Now we're ready to start filling this in. So I'm looking for the next closest thing that comes to the camera, which is going to be her face here. So I'm then going to draw another one, which basically sits over the top here. I'm going to take a bit of this hair here because it's pretty close to the camera. So something like that. And then I also want to start taking another one, which is even closer here. And then one more, which is right in the middle here, where I'm gonna take her eyes, maybe her nose and a bit of the mouth here. I'm gonna drop this size down. And then one I'm gonna do really prominent, which is on the nose here. And then I'm also just gonna switch this color back to black and I want to take her eyes back slightly. Maybe to something like that. To something like this. And I'm just going to drag this opacity up once I think I've got it roughly where I need it. Now at this point it looks a little bit silly because it looks like a bit of a blur and it doesn't really look like we've done it correctly. But this is where the beauty of the displacement map really comes in because we're about to take this into After Effects and it's really gonna show you how this effect really, really works. So at the moment, it actually looks pretty good. And what we're gonna do is we're next just gonna export this. 
Now you can save this as a PNG, a JPEG, or whatever you, works for you. But I'm just gonna save this as a PNG. I'm just gonna save this on my desktop. Okay, so now we're ready to start to actually put our effect together inside of After Effects. So I've jumped over to After Effects and let's get started. Okay, so over in After Effects, I've got my images already lined up here. So I've got my original image, and then I've also got my PNG, which I exported. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm actually gonna right click and create a new composition. That's gonna open up this, which is our displacement map. So the first thing I wanna do here is actually add a blur effect to this. So I'm gonna come up to effect, I'm gonna come down to blur and sharpen, and I can just add a Gaussian blur to this and then scale this up. Now that actually looks quite blurry at first, but that actually works better for the effect as I'm about to show you. So next we're gonna take our portrait here and we're actually just gonna right click and also create a new comp from selection. And then I wanna bring our displacement map comp over the top. And when I turn this on and off, they should line up as you're seeing here. Now the other thing I'm gonna do here is actually select both of these and actually just scale them up slightly. So we've got one over the top of the other. So then actually what I wanna do is take my portrait image here and I wanna come over to the effects and presets and I just wanna search for displace. And this is what we actually want here. We want the displacement map and I'm gonna drag this straight onto my portrait. And then we actually wanna come up here and set our displacement map. So what we do is we make sure that, that this is pointing to our displacement map, which is the one on top. And then we can come down here and change these to luminance as the effect just seems to work a little bit better with that. Now, if we come over here and play with these settings, you can see straight away the effect already working. Now, the thing about this effect is that it works really well when you only do a little bit of movement. So subtle movement is really what makes this effect really stand out. So what I can do is if I come back to the start here, I'm just gonna create two keyframes for these two here, and I'm gonna push these back very slightly to around negative 17 for both of them. Then I'm gonna to move to about five seconds. I'm gonna hit N on the keyboard just to create an out point there. And then move these up to around sort of, up to probably around there. Now when I render through that, you can actually see the effect playing out right in front of us. And you can see how effective this is at actually creating that 3D look. Now you can further exaggerate this by using the camera tool and then also putting a bit of camera movement over the top. And here's some more that I've done earlier where you can really see that effect playing out using the camera tool as well. So there you go guys, I hope you've learned something in this video. Please give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Thanks very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next tutorial.